Tonight, charges filed against a social media star. Kasuna is literally everywhere. You can't scroll through any form of social media without at least seeing one clip from the streamer. And it's not for no reason. The frequency and quality of his content is unmatched, all while innovating what it means to be a streamer, from acting in his own short film to producing music videos. His pivot outside of just streaming is what's really going to solidify him in his career for a long time. So here's why you should respect Kasuna. I got into vids though my my natural interest wasn't youtube at first it was skits to understand where Kaisenat is now, we first gotta rewind the clock all the way back to 2015, where at only 13 years old, Kai would take his first dive into content creation. And that would be in the form of short comedy skits on Facebook, filled with the vine, thuds, and punchlines that we all know. At first, it was only being watched by friends and family and gaining a couple hundred views per post. But Kai didn't care. He would take his content into Instagram in 2016, and his high energy would lead to a strong fan base. And posting regularly for three years would take those couple hundred views and turn them into a couple hundred thousand. By January 2019, a young Kai would make the best decision for his career yet and upload his first YouTube video, promising vlogs, pranks, and reactions for his fans. But with the first year on the platform being more sparse, it was really in 2019 where Kai would double down on content and upload more consistently. Kai was in college now, surrounded by so many people and motivated to post every two days. It was the perfect environment for his pranks to take off, and that's exactly what happened. Kai struck gold with his Ding Dong Ditch series, getting millions of views, and with endless doors to knock on, Kai really had endless content. People wanted to see what the college experience would be like and it was a refreshing take on a childhood prank. But aside from just the pranks though, I think what made his channel so successful was how he treated his videos almost like a TV show. Kai would be the main character, his friends would be the cast, and his campus would be the set. Every upload felt like a new episode and fans would be excited to see if their favorite character would make an appearance. The success at this point in Kai's career would catch the eye of another YouTuber from the Bronx who saw something in Kai that was promising and he knew he had to get Kai on board for something special by any means possible. In February 2020, Kai would link up with the YouTuber Phantom, and the two would connect beyond just content creation. Now, at the time, Phantom was already a part of a content collective called AMP, with YouTubers Duke Dennis, I'm Davis, Agent Double Zero, and Chris Next Door. But being one of the founding members, Phantom already had an eye for who would be the perfect fit for the collective, and he wanted Kai to be a part of that group. But not knowing exactly where he would fit in, though, Kai was hesitant at first, but would make his debut appearance on the AMP channel in August of that year. Now, earlier I said starting YouTube would be his most important. Decision. Yeah, I lied. This would easily be Kai's best decision to date. And honestly, it's been history since. Kai's high energy personality would be a great addition to the team, and the steady content that the group would be putting out was benefiting him like crazy. With the AMP channel hitting 1 million subscribers and his channel on the way to reaching that as well, Kai was faced with another decision. And this time, he would choose to drop out of college and start dominating yet another platform. February 2nd, 2021 is the day that Kai Sinat started the most successful streaming career of all time. His personality was perfect for live content and all eyes were on him. He just kept hitting milestone after milestone until eventually Kai Sinat would hit 300,000 subs during his 30 day subathon, breaking the record for the most Twitch subs of all time. If Twitch didn't see it, the fans in the industry definitely did, and he went on to win his second Streamer of the Year award, cementing himself even further. But there was more to accomplish. Much like his YouTube, his subathon had guest appearances, plot, and above all, high quality entertainment. And we see that throughout every stream, whether it's collaborating with your favorite rapper, a firework war inside the AMP house, or streaming from a new location, there's always a new plot line to follow. Think of it as a new arc to your favorite anime or show. Even as I make this video, Kai is streaming from prison for the next seven days. And every Every day a new celebrity or content creator joins, and fans are hooked trying to figure out what could happen next. Whether it's Drewski making his way past the guards hiding McDonald's in his pants, DDG stealing keys and escaping the prison, or NLE Choppa trying to flirt with the guards, there's never a dull moment. So it's no wonder with the quality he puts into his streams that Kai is now branching off into acting. Already making his own short film that's sitting at 12 million views, to also playing roles in Nightmare on Cottonwood, and even the upcoming Good Burger 2 movie. There isn't much Kai can't pivot into. Throughout it 
it all, he's valued his supporters every step of the way, never missing a chance to show his appreciation, and that's why you should respect Kaisenat. But hey man, that's where I'm gonna end it off. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and comment down below. And please let me know your opinions. I love reading the comments. I usually talk about more rap related things. Of course, I'll see y'all next week with another video. I appreciate all the love and I'm out.